The supplies that you'll need to do your epidermal skin biopsy, first of all, is a, a punch kit. Now, we will be providing the punch kits to you. We will also be providing the fixative, the Zamboni fixative. Uh, some additional supplies that you might consider using, I'll review that as well. But located within the punch kit, First of all is your three millimeter punch. Um, you need at least three millimeters or greater to do these biopsies. Also the plastic forceps and a pair of scissors to reach under and be able to release the specimen. There are a couple two by twos and an alcohol swab. These are usually sufficient if you're just doing one biopsy. But if you're thinking about doing a second one, the supplies you continue to use, but we also pull out a couple extra two by twos, um, some more alcohol preps. And I like to use these uh, latex free four side uh, bandages. The um, idea is to add a little bit of pressure to the biopsy site and to be able to seal it on all four sides tends to stop the bleeding a little bit quicker and also protect their clothing. Um, that's at your discretion. The, if we look back at the Zamboni, when you open up the Zamboni, be very careful. These tubes are full and they need to be full so that your specimen doesn't ever air dry. Um, be very careful when you open them and place the specimen inside it's a screw top, not a press cap, and you don't want to crush your specimen within there and damage it. Once the specimen is placed within the tube, we gently rotate it one or two times so that it is coated with the Zamboni, and you'll notice that it'll float to the bottom of the tube. Um, these do not need to be refrigerated. They are kept at room temperature, and the specimen is going to be mailed back to us at room temperature. So there's no refrigerating, no packing uh, in ice, and there is no expiration date on these as well. Uh, the other thing about the Zamboni is to be very, very careful, though, that you don't transfer any of your uh, biopsy equipment and touch the Zamboni and then go on to do another site because it can be very irritating to the skin. So we will supply you with uh, a good supply of Zamboni. The other thing that we will provide it to you is the mailers to mail them the samples back to us. Um, what you will need as far as additional supplies are TB syringes, one cc with a 27 gauge needle, half inch or smaller is fine. Um, you'll need some lidocaine with epinephrine, we use the one to 100,000. I typically draw up about 0.7 cc's of the lidocaine. For good anesthesia at the site, usually 0 0.4, 0 0.5 cc's is sufficient, but if you have the situation where you need to give them a little bit more because with the needle test they, they feel the sensation, you've already got the fluid there. Also, because you're going so close to the surface of the skin, there is a tendency to go in with the needle and back out the other side and you lose a little bit. That way you can pull back again and still have enough um, within the needle. I think the other thing you might want to consider, um, many patients, even if you're doing upper thighs, uh, you don't need to have them undress. We have them lower their pants um, and cover them with a drape lower their pants, be able to do that biopsy, and then they're able to pull their pants back up and then just lift the cuff of, of their pants. Um, so having a drape, uh, just to drape them for, for um, privacy purposes.